welcome to this edition of the Daily 10, your source for entertaining news, celebrities and latest trends. I am your host PNK. Annalisa Moigai and Habi Ben Paul have recently been rumored to have a strained relationship. However, a recent video shared by Ben Paul on his Instagram has displayed nothing but joy and laughter in the couple's union. The video showed the singer dancing to Roomba while showcasing some hilarious dance moves and Annalisa could not hold her laughter. You could tell that even the fans were impressed from the comments with others expressing joy at the news that all is well in paradise. Content creator Terence Creative and wife Chebby recently spoke candidly on their relationship during an interview with Jalango. During the talk, Terence made a joke about unending forgiveness in marriage but was also thankful to the wife for her support and forgiveness. Terence also opened up about his addiction to gambling and drug use which happened during a time when he was an MC in the Nairobi CBD. The entertainer mentioned two occasions when he gambled away 1.2 million shillings and 650,000. Chebby said she was however content with whatever they had and there was a reason why he had to go through what he did. Betty Bio shared a post in which she warned divorced men to avail the proof of quitting their previous unions in order to have any chance of dating her. The gospel artist also cautioned those willing to date her to be ready to do so in the limelight because she won't be keeping anything a secret. She said she was not going to keep her next lover a secret because doing so did not work in the past. This was because her fans would be part of her relationship and help her in identifying if the suitor was really single. TV presenter Grace Akirapa has for the first time disclosed that her father said she was in a cult because of how much she loved to go to church. According to her, the father thought she was doing other things each time she went to church. The crossover 101 presenter in an interview with Switch TV's Chatsport explained that she found comfort in church at a very young age and would sometimes fall asleep at the pulpit inside the church that they went at the time. When asked why that was the case, the TV presenter who was born of a Muslim mother said that she loved the church environment and knew Jesus lived in church. Cardi B is on cloud 9 after her song with Megan Thee Stallion made history on Monday. The popular US rapper has become the first female rapper to debut at number 1 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. The Invasion of Privacy artist has also become the first female rapper to boast number 1 tracks in two different decades. An excited Cardi B took to social media to share her success with fans and thanked all who were involved in the accomplishment. The controversial queen broke multiple records including the highest streaming first week by a female artist, the highest streaming first week of 2020 and one of the top 3 hip-hop streaming debuts of all time. Kanye West believes that TikTok is not safe for young children and actually the world in general. The US superstar said that he wanted to create his own Christian monitored version of the app called Jesus Talk. The rapper then said that he had a vision of Jesus Talk when he was watching TikTok with his daughter. The Jesus is King rapper said that his prayer was that one day people would get to encounter the less provocative version of the fun app. He posted his dream on Twitter and asked God to bring forth his vision soon enough. Doja Cat has suddenly responded to Nas after he dissed her on his latest single Ultra Black. The say so rapper Doja Cat took to TikTok after Nas fired off at her on his new single which drops on Friday August 14th. Social media users quickly picked up on the lyric which began trending on Twitter. It appears to reference the scandal back in May which saw Doja being accused of taking part in a racist online chat room. Doja who has repeatedly denied allegations of racism and white supremacy issued a troll in response to Nas diss. She states that she is so offended and upset by the song while talking to the camera and while Ultra Black plays in the background. DJ Mo has advised singer Wisdom to work hard on his craft and shun from starting silly wars amongst gospel artists. Mo was responding to a comment on his Instagram in which Wisdom claimed gospel artists could not commend one of their own, that is Bahati, for doing a great job. The award-winning DJ came across Wisdom's comment and did not like how he was trying to create a problem between local artists. It's clear that the father of two was not happy and only wanted to see musicians stick together. Tanzanian video vixen cam fashionpreneur Hamisa Mobeto has broken silence on allegations that Kenyan MP Charles Njagua alias Jaguar fathered her child Dylan. In a recent interview, Mobeto quashed a report saying that she doesn't know Jaguar in person and that they have never met. The mother of two decided to speak up after the rumor went around that Jaguar fathered her kid due to Dylan's uncanny resemblance to the Kigeugeu singer. On August 6, 2020, the Starrell legislator caused confusion among his Easter family after taking to the photo and video sharing app to wish Ms. Mobeto's son a happy birthday. The MP later deleted the post following a heavy backlash from a section of Tanzanians who accused him of cloud chasing using Hamisa and Diamond Platinum's son. And with that, we come to the end of this edition of the Daily 10. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're looking forward to your feedback. Make sure to catch me every Monday to Friday from 6:30 p.m. to 7 p.m. From me, PNK here at the Daily 10. It's goodbye.